Hello guys, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations coming to you with another dessert recipe. I hope you enjoy it and try it. If you do, please leave me a comment under this video to let me know. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning guys, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations coming to you with another dessert. This time I have three almost gone bananas. They are the perfect, perfect, perfect size and, and thing for making banana nut bread. So I'm going to bring you along as I work on the recipe. The oven is already preheating to 350 degrees, ready to go in. I have my pan clean and ready. All I got to do is spray it and put it in the oven. All right, guys, let's put you down and let's get started. I'm going to turn you around where you can see where I'm working and bend you down a little. There we go. Tighten you up so that you don't go anywhere. All right. So my recipe, I just made some apple cider. So if it worked out, I'll make a video on that later. Come off of Google. I just went on and did banana nut bread recipe. I'm sorry I forgot to write down whose recipe it was, but if you recognize the ingredients, by all means, uh, I got some water in my bowl. I have to wash two towels today because I am completely out. But anyway, I'll do that after this. Okay, so what I'm going to start with, sorry, I forgot to get my measuring cups and spoons. They all come on this neat little ring. Well, I didn't care much for the ring, so. Okay, we need one-fourth and one cup of all-purpose flour. I just have mine in this little container. It says all-purpose flour. This stays in my big pantry. And then I have regular flour underneath this counter when I'm going to make biscuits or something. Make a full, then take your fingers and go across the top. So that's one. They say it's really important in baking recipes to do it according to the recipe and not add any more or take anything away. Now I have always done that and it still turned out eatable. But these do turn out better. So... You should really pay attention to that. All right, so after that, we need a teaspoonful of baking soda. Same concept, pull out your baking soda, slide your finger across the top of it so you get a level spoonful. A lot of people gauge that stuff, and for people that's been cooking for years, and you would think that would be me at 65 years old, no. So, need a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm not sure where my half a teaspoon thing is, but I will put two-fourths of a teaspoon, okay, and there's that much, oh, I forgot to give me a spoon, now mix this up so you don't get a big bite of baking soda, or salt in your banana nut bread. You get it all mixed and good. Okay, so there's that much. And we set this aside. So we're gonna set that right there. Now we're gonna take two large eggs. Try to bring them to room temperature. They say that too is important. And as I said in my last video, I always just pull them out of the refrigerator and use them. Can't say I noticed a major difference, but I'm trying to follow the rules, guys. I'm trying to follow the rules. Okay, and then you get a half a teaspoon of, um, since I had salt in there, not that they ain't all go mix, but... I want to make sure I get a whole half a teaspoon. This is a quarter teaspoon. 
So I'm going to put two of them in there. I love a smell of vanilla. Okay. Now. I'll get my little itty bitty whisk. And whisk this together. And we're going to set it aside. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put you on pause because i got to melt this in the microwave. And we'll add it and a cup of sugar to the mixer, which I'll turn you around for that. All right, so now we're ready. Okay, so let me put you on pause while I get everything else ready. Okay, now we are going to put a cup of sugar into my mixer. You can use a regular mixer or a sand mixer. This was a gift from my brother-in-law. Thank you, Matthew. So I'm going to use it so he knows his gift didn't go to waste. Let me clean it up a little bit. And you, they say you mix it till it's fluffy. Oh, should I get that back with us? Let's put the butter in. Oh well. Let's see if this works. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. You're supposed to put the butter and the sugar and cream it till it's fluffy and then add the egg. Take you a spoon, scrape down the side so you get all the stuff mixed up. That's how they do it. They just scrape it across that thing. Okay, put it back down in there and turn it. Looks good. Smells good, guys. Turn around and bring it down like that because you don't finish the rest of it in the mixer. So I'm going to stop you and turn you around so you don't get seasick. All right, we're back. And what we're going to do now, see this is what it looks like. What we're going to do now is to put our, uh, mash our bananas. And what I'm going to do here. is I'm going to get a bowl, wipe it out, because it's wet. And I'm going to get this nifty little thing. And I'm going to open the bananas. This is the last three of the bunch that I bought over at Kroger's last week. I already made one bunch of banana bread. I didn't have enough to make two banana breads this time. If you don't if you don't have time to make banana bread, just peel your bananas and stick them in the freezer. Then when you thaw them out, you can make your banana bread. But it stops the process of it decaying. And then just take your just take your thing and squish it down in there. Okay. Put that over here, out of the way. And you take it and scoop it into your, where you had your sugar, your eggs, your vanilla, and your butter. Scoop it in there and fold it. Just go like this. Fold it from the beginning, from the top to the bottom. You don't want to mix it in too much after you get the flour. So you want to go ahead and mix all this stuff in while you're doing it. Alright, that looks good, guys. That looks good. Smells good, too. Okay, so we've already got our one and one-fourth cup of all-purpose flour in place. Our baking soda, our salt, our eggs, our vanilla, our butter, our sugar, and bananas. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nifty little thing here. It's, called, it's a coffee grinder. 
and I'm going to put some almonds in it because I don't have any walnuts. Not hauled yet, anyway. So I'm just going to put me some in there. And because it's going to be loud, I'm not going to bring you over to see it because it will be loud. Okay. Now, if you ever get one of these and you think the cord's too short, just pull it down and it unrolls. Took me a minute or two to figure that out, but it did work. All right, so hold on to your ears. Does that hold it? Y'all break them up? To where it looks like this now. You get, even if you don't grind up your coffee, get you one of these, because it does work. And then just fold them in. So you get all your nuts. Mix in. Then the last thing you're going to do is your flour mixture that you had. Just put it in there. And fold it in. I don't know what the difference between folding and stirring is, but that's what everybody says to do. And that's just simply going underneath your stuff onto the top so that you get that stuff all mixed in good. says it puts air into your stuff so that it gets stays light and fluffy. And mine was good when I made it last week, so we're going to try it. And here is my little baking pan that my daughter got me for Christmas. So I'm going to put it in there. But first, I'm going to spray it. Now on top of that, I'm going to get this. I got these boxes of parchment paper from a Dollar Tree store yes, day, day before yesterday. And I'm going to try them. And if they work, I'm going to get me up said one. It's a little old tiny parchment sheets. And I'm going to put them down in the bottom. So that hopefully the bottom of my cake don't get too brown. Okay. Now, all you do, this is what it looks like, guys. All you do now is pour that in. Look at that. Okay, now, goes into this 350 degree oven for 55 minutes. But I found out my oven is best if you check it at about 50 minutes. There you go. I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, guys, I'm back. It has been 55 minutes. And my cake is now out of the oven. Let me get me one of these Q-tips to fall out of here. We're going to stick it in in various places. Comes out clean. Look how pretty. It is gorgeous. All right, we're going to let it cool down and then I'll cut a piece. And maybe I'll put a piece of that cake on the end of this video. Be back in a bit. Okay, guys. There is my piece of banana nut bread ready to eat. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that the parchment paper worked wonderful. So if you go to Dollar Tree store and your, your uh, store sells them, I'd stock up on them because they probably won't last long. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back and see me another time. We'll have one posted hopefully this weekend. If not, it'll be soon. So put on your notification bells on your subscribe and it'll let you know when I'm ready. You all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.